Colleges offer all kinds of programs trying to help students feel a sense of community. They want it to be a home away from home. For students without what we think of as a traditional support system at home, that becomes even more vital. Our Mike Grady shows us CSU's Fostering Success program. The uncertainty of a college campus can be unsettling. It's like a culture shock coming here when you're especially as an independent student. Devontae Tobe hello, hello, hello. is an independent is, student at I'm Colorado here. State University. Graduating in the fall. I love saying that part. These undergrads navigate college without traditional family support systems. Not only do they have to pay for school, but they also have to make sure that they figure out ways to like get food on the table, make sure they keep a roof over their head. This right here is our first ever Fostering Success Programs food and pain. In 2010, CSU started the Fostering Success Program to support kids like Devante through mentoring, building community, and also financially. I wasn't gonna receive any financial support from my family. I live with my grandparents and you know, like that was, I wasn't expecting to get anything from them and then me and you know, my mom, I wasn't expecting to get anything from them, and I definitely wasn't expecting to get anything from my dad because I don't, you know, associate with him. Devontae hesitated to rely on FSP. Like, when I got up here, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from my Bella. Like, I didn't really need, I don't think, I, I didn't feel like I needed nobody. Here. Now, he works as a mentor, <laughs> keeping events like this going through the pandemic. You want to be able to be in a room with people that, like, have a similar story as you. Despite the typical okay, unknowns okay, facing okay. a graduating okay. senior, Devante is certain this community got him this far. Oh man, I, I, I would have been out of here. I would have been out of here already. I would have been out of here, no doubt. For next, I'm Mike Grady. I really appreciate y'all coming out and kicking it with me for a little bit. Devante says that he hopes to return to Montbell to work in the community he grew up in as a high school English teacher. And my thanks to the next viewer on Twitter who a couple months ago suggested that we look into the Fostering Success Program. Always welcome your suggestions about Colorado's interesting people and places and groups like that.